theory of consumer behavior under that a subtopic concept of utility utility is u t i l i t y utility u t i l i t y utility can be defined as the satisfaction any individual derive by consuming a good or service utility can be defined as the satisfaction any individual derive by consuming a good or service I said it is the satisfaction any individual derive by consuming a good or service it is measured in utils it is measured in utils Utility is a measure of the way an individual right is measured by the way an individual Yes, utility is measured by the way an individual feel about a product or commodity is measured by the way an individual feels about a product or com or commodity even before consuming it measures the way an individual feels about a commodity before consuming it it is the satisfaction you expect to get utility it is the satisfaction you expect to get <coughs> you expect to get from a commodity <coughs> it is the satisfaction you expect to get from a commodity so citing an example now if you are thirsty for instance and you um, have um, a range of drinks that can quench your thirst water soft drinks alcohol <coughs> name it any any liquid that can quench your thirst it is that expectation of satisfaction you get you expect to get from consuming that um, that commodity meaning in your mind when you have that range of commodity that expectation oh water will quench my thirst better oh coke will do better oh uh, alcohol will do better that your expectation of satisfaction is utility to be clear what you expect to get as satisfaction is your utility assumptions of cardinal utility theory Assum that's a subtopic assumptions of cardinal utility theory Cardinal utility theory. <coughs> Cardinal utility theory. Assumptions. Assumptions. One, rationality. One, rationality. Rationality. Everybody is being rational about everything. <coughs> Rationality. This assumption states that the consumer is rational in his choices. The consumer is rational in his choices. States that the consumer is rational. in his choice, the choice he makes.
As such, he measures. As such, he measures. <coughs> or evaluate. He measures or evaluate utility. By looking at his income, he measures or evaluates his utility by looking at his income. Number two, cardinality. Cardinality. Just as it is on the board, cardinality. Cardinality. This assumes that utility is measurable. This assumes that utility is measurable. You can measure it. And the measurement is in monetary terms. Like you can value it with money. The measurement is by uh, monetary terms, T-E-R-M-S, monetary terms, making it easier to quantify, making it easier to quantify. So for example, in uh, my example of being thirsty, you want to quench your thirst, if water costs if water costs, uh, sachet water costs 5 naira, soft drink is 200 naira, alcohol is maybe 1,000 naira, hypothetically. Now, if you choose, if you prefer or no, if you choose um, Coke to quench your thirst, it means you have valued your satisfaction as 200 naira. If you choose water, you valued your satisfaction at uh, 10 naira or 15 naira the price of the water so the product or commodity you go for the value of it in monetary terms is the measurement of cardinality is it clear the money value of the commodity that you choose is the cardinality assumption of uh, consumer behavior eh? the money terms the value Diminishing marginal utility. Three. Diminishing marginal utility. Diminishing marginal utility assumption. Diminishing marginal utility. This means that the satisfaction a consumer derives, the satisfaction a consumer derives from successive from successive consumption of that commodity. The satisfaction a consumer derives from successive consumption of that commodity. Successive consumption of that commodity decreases. I said the, cons uh, the satisfaction the consumer derives from successive consumption of that commodity decreases. over time if consumption continues decreases over time if consumption continues
Okay. So. So this is how it works. You are testing, you bought a bottle of coke. You took the first one. You took the first bottle of coke. You were satisfied. You know when you are very thirsty and you take that first bottle of water or coke, you will get satisfied. You need more, you took another one to make two. The level of satisfaction you derive. The satisfaction you got valued hypothetically was 30. Now you got another bottle. You've had two bottles. The satisfaction you get from that second one won't be as high as the first one. Yet you are still get deriving satisfaction. That's why you keep buying. Now you took the third bottle. You got meaning you you are taking the third bottle. Your level of satisfaction, yes, is still there, but it's not as much as the previous one. Now, you took next one, you're taking four bottles. Your satisfaction is still there. That is if you keep on taking, that's the succession that I was saying in the note. That's successive taking of that commodity. If it continues, your level of satisfaction keeps dropping until it becomes zero, then you are dissatisfied. You understand? So that's what he's saying that continuous consumption of the same uh, commodity eh, will bring about a less level of satisfaction with that continuous consumption. Is it clear? You can write it, it's not in the notes. You can write it for better explanation. Uh, uh, no, I said it, it reduces, reduces. That is the diminishing. You know, understand what diminishing means is reducing. Yes. So that is the diminishing satisfaction. Satisfaction is utility too. Now. Constant number four, constant utility, constant marginal utility of money. Constant marginal utility of money number four. Constant marginal utility of money. This assumption states that utility. This assumption states that utility is measured in monetary terms and it has a constant marginal utility it's measured in monetary terms and it has a constant marginal utility i said the assumption states that utility is measured in monetary terms money yeah and it is it has a constant marginal utility Okay, let me cite this my example of uh, coke. I'm still. Is 
is an essential life, a constant marginal utility of money. If my price for a bottle of Coke is 200 naira, eh? every addition I make, now I made, I, I, uh, I bought one bottle for 200. I bought another bottle. I bought another bottle. This is that constant marginal utility of money. It means it is the same monetary value. That is the constant utility of money for that commodity. Different from diminishing satisfaction. Eh? Please, get it clear. That constant... Eh, yes, you keep buying more, you keep buying more. That is that constant in there. Number five, additivity assumption. Additivity, addition. Additivity assumption of the total utility. <coughs> additivity assumption of the total utility of the basket of goods. Additivity assumption of the total utility of the basket of goods. Of the basket. Uh, of the basket of goods, meaning you have a collection of goods. Additivity assumption of the basket of goods. And this says that the total utility, this assumption states that the total utility depends on the quantities of the individual commodity. Total utility depends on the quantities of individual commodities that the individual consumes. I said, it states that total utility depends on the quantities of individual commodities that the individual consumes, that each commodity that the person consumes. This implies, full stop, this implies, I said, commodities I said total utility depends on the quantities of the individual commodities that the individual consumes. Individual commodity that the individual consumes. Full stop. This implies that total utility is the function of commodities consumed. It implies that total utility is the function It implies that total utility is a function of the commodities consumed. Remember our Coke example. Total utility means the total of what you consume. If we read this example, it did it consumed one, two, three, four, five. Eh? It means its total utility equals to five uh, bottles of coke. So this one depends on this one. So if you consume more than five, that is total utility is a function of how many it consumes. That is what it says. It says total utility is a function of the commodity consumed. So the quantity it consumed depends on the total utility. A subtopic, total utility and marginal utility. <coughs> topic, topic, total utility and marginal utility. Total utility and marginal utility. Total utility is described as the sum of the utility. Total utility is described as the sum of the utility 
obtained sorry is the sum of the satisfaction in front of utility satisfaction obtained from consuming different units of a commodity I said total unit I mean total utility is described as the sum of the utility or satisfaction obtained from consuming different units of a commodity different units of a commodity just like this one unit two units another unit another unit another unit so if you sum it together is the total utility marginal utility marginal continuation marginal utility is the addition marginal utility is the addition to total utility marginal utility is the addition to total utility brought about by is the addition to total utility brought about by consuming i said marginal utility is the addition to total utility brought about by consuming an additional an additional unit of that commodity so i said total ut i mean sorry marginal utility is the addition to total utility brought about by consuming an additional unit of that commodity so in this our example eh? the utility it got by consuming an additional unit of coke eh, is the marginal utility but usually marginal utility reduces as it consumes more the utility reduces in the note or in the explanation i said total utility is that addition in unit the more you consume that's the sum total you took one you bought another one you got two. so the addition of that utility is the total marginal means that addition you did eh? that satisfaction you got by adding another one total is total but what additional satisfaction did you get by consuming one more is marginal total is the sum of everything but that increase as you increase it by one what is the satisfaction you got that's marginal So with this hour, say it again, yeah. If they are not round numbers, like if he has a dot, yes, yes. it's still the same as, as subtraction. I will, we will have a table calculation on that. Uh, now, just as I... So, just as I showed you here, eh? When you when you consume a commodity, eh? Your level of satisfaction first rise, eh? It will first rise, then it will reach maximum and decline. You understand? So, just as it usually is supposed to rise, hypothetically, it's supposed to rise, then it will reach a level, a maximum, then it will start to decline. That is a total utility curve, showing satisfaction. Uh -huh. Then for marginal utility, it means as you increase, as you increase the quantity of uh, 
of what you consume. The, the first one you got more, the next one you got less, the next one you got less, that is that margin. As you add the more you, the more you consume, the lesser the satisfaction you derive from there. So this is the TU curve, and this is the MU curve. Representation of total utility and marginal utility. That plotted this graph. You could plot it out eh, and you get this curve, plot the other one and get this. So when you, at first you did not take anything, no total utility. You took one, you took two, it increased. So your level of satisfaction increased, but your marginal utility eh, from the first one kept decreasing. There are criticisms of the cardinal utility theory and there is consumer equilibrium. Just as we got equilibrium in demand and supply, there is also equilibrium in consumption. Eh? When we can have two different commodities, if the satisfaction we get from this one and equate it to this one, we can have equilibrium um, consumption, equilibrium level of satisfaction. Thank <laughs> you.